top 10 MLB center fielders, 10 to 6, 2015 edition. Number 10, Jacoby Ellsbury, age 32, New York Yankees, center fielder. The vet, longtime Boston Red Sox, now a New York Yankee. Always been very productive from what I know and from watching him and from everybody pretty much. The whole analysis is he can steal bases and he's fast and he's got that primary center fielding type, you know, position and type skill. And he still has it. Even though he is 32 now, he's wearing a bit down, but still has a talent. Now, overall, looking at it, um, when he signed that seven-year, $153 million contract with the New York Yankees, that was kind of a slap in the face to the Boston Red Sox for, you know, so long being a part of that team and then going to their bitter rival, the Bad Empire, whatever you want to call it, if you are a non-Yankee fan. If you're a Yankee fan, you're like, you mean just we're just really good, just the others have not proven to be as good as we have because we have 27 World Series championships and everybody else is not even close to us. But anyway, uh, right now his, his contract is uh, five years, um, and right now he is, as of right now, this year he will be making roughly $21.8 million. So overall, he's going to be making bank. For sure, um, deservedly so. Like I said, he has slowed down a bit, so I would not put much to say as "Oh my goodness, he's gonna be like incredible, incredible." But like, I still think he's gonna be very productive in terms of what he's done so far. I mean, he's definitely got more power once he's he's hit it, you know. Once he has become a Yankee, um, he's definitely developed more power. He's he's had more home runs for sure. But looking at it, I mean, yeah, five years, specifically $109.3 million left. Um, still a lot. That's a lot of cash. Many years for him to be there. Uh, many years for, you know, possibly if they could keep it up, hopefully the New York Yankees could get one World Series title in. I'm, not, I'm really not sure because just because with the whole roster and seasons about he is already out of his prime. There's no way that he's going to be back in his prime. Um, Tanaka, the guy that everyone was so, like, worthy, like, oh, my goodness, this guy is the next greatest pitcher of all time, that type of thing, you know, that acknowledgement that, like, he's the savior of New York, he's the savior of the Bronx, that was way too much hype, um, I feel like he's definitely uh, underachieved all the hype that he has brought, I think too much hype, that that's what killed him right now, because uh, right now, he's definitely not an elite, elite pitcher, he's definitely not a top 10 pitcher in the league. Um, he's far from there, and hopefully he could get back there, though. Hopefully he can get to a point where he's really dominant for this team, and he'll be the number one starter. But overall, though, this is a uh, this is a New York Yankee team that, again, they, I mean, they've tried and tried, and uh, you know they really haven't gotten to the to the fall classic, and that's been that's been a shame. But uh, we'll see what happens overall. But Jacoby Ellsbury as a as an individual, he's an All Star, two time World Series champion. A three-time AL stolen base leader, 30-30 club winner, like club. He's in the 30-30 club, my bad. Which is pretty much that is, I think, 30 home runs, 30 stolen base around there. Because he had that one huge, huge year where he had 30 home runs. It was, it was incredible to see. Because again, he's not really a power, power guy. Anyway, AL comeback player of the year, Gold Glove winner, and uh, Silver Slugger. So you see, like, what he what he brings to the table a lot. Um, as you can see, the batting-wise this year, 111 games played, 452 at-bats, 66 runs scored, 116 hits, 15 doubles, 2 triples, 7 home runs, 33 RBIs, 35 walks, 86 strikeouts, 21 stolen bases, 257 average, a 318 on base, 345 slugging, and a 663 OPS. So not bad. I mean, not the best. I mean, he's, he's definitely had a better averages before, but, you know, not bad. And then you're looking at what he did defensively. Um, 232 put outs, 232 put outs. Sorry about that. Five assists, zero errors, two double plays, a perfect fielding percentage of a one. So overall, his entire career he's been flawless pretty much, and he's done nothing but he's done nothing but just great things on defense. So overall, he is a dynamic player for sure, and uh, hopefully he'll he'll be bringing that to the table still for the Yankees this year. So definitely deserving of being on this list. Number nine, Adam Eaton. Age 27, Chicago White Sox center fielder, 
pretty much I started really liking this guy a lot in 2014, and that's pretty much when his first year as a Chicago White Sox was. I didn't really know much about him before then. I know he played for the D-backs, but didn't really have too many game experiences, really. So people didn't really know much about him, like me. Um, pretty much when I saw him, I was like, oh my goodness, who is this guy? And what is his name? And uh, you know, I found out Adam Eaton, and I'm like, wow, this guy is really skillful. Like, the way he plays, he's, like I said, he's a speedy guy, like center fielders should be, but... I mean, he's speedy. Like, he gets so many triples, and it's incredible to see just how, like, dangerous he really is and how good of a hitter he really is. So, overall, I was very thoroughly impressed with him. And this year, he, you know, he played the most games in his career, and he really did, like, show me, like, what kind of player he is. Like, he is definitely a top-of-the-order number one guy, and he will he's great for leading off. He's, he's dangerous, and he's got what it takes to really – like, push the pace of the lineup. Overall, though, I mean, he's got four years left, $18.8 million. That's money well spent. That's actually very cheap for him in terms of, like, what he should be earning. He should be earning tops, like, $70, $80 million around there. Uh, that's what I believe because just the way he plays is um, exceptionally valuable. He might not get much, like, RBIs or home runs, but he's valuable in, in his own right, and he's dangerous. And as a leadoff hitter, you know, he's, He's got that that uh, that approach that I really love, and just he's got confidence in himself. And you know, to me, like I enjoy watching him all the time. So for sure, it's it's a pleasure watching this guy. Overall, uh, in his career, he's only he's got an AL triple co-leader. Um, actually, he had ten last year. That's why he was like a co-leader. But just ten in itself in a season that's that's hard, and he made that look easy. Overall, just a great-ass player, but just hasn't had any awards yet, and uh, I'm looking to see if he will. I'm thinking he will probably have a gold glove at some point, or you know, possibly he could have a batting champion, because the way he bats, I mean, he's, he's a dangerous hitter, and he gets hit, so he he definitely is. He's not shy when it comes to that. He's, he's a guy that can get 200 hits in a season for sure, easily. Um, overall, though, in his years, um, this year, he had 153 games played, 610 at-bats, 98 runs scored, 175 hits, 28 doubles, 9 triples, 14 home runs, 56 RBIs, 58 walks, 131 strikeouts, 18 stolen bases, 287 average, a 361 on base, a 431 slug, and a 792 OBS. Overall, he's dangerous, and I think the th that's where it is. That's where people don't understand, but this is why I see why he's dangerous. First of all, yes, 14 home runs and 56 RBIs. Not, like, obviously not wow, like, gigantic numbers. He's not a Mike Trout that's going to get 30, 35 home runs and, like, 110 RBIs or whatever like that. So that's Mike Trout. Mike Trout is the best player in the world. But overall, Adam Eaton, the thing that makes him dangerous is, you see those 175 hits? Yeah. You see, he gets 98 runs scored. He, he gets he gets to score in position. He's right there. He's the, he's the first there, and he's going to get to where he will make sure he creates runs for the team. And on top of that, you're looking at 28 doubles and 9 triples. So he does get extra base hits, and he's dangerous, like I said. Great average, great on base. Um, and like I said, that's why he deserves slugging is so high, is because of those extra base hits. But overall, what, what a great what a great, um, what a great hitter. Um, and, you know, I mean, people don't really see it much, but uh, he's actually not a bad fielder, to be quite honest with you. He's actually not a bad fielder. He's, um, he's actually... I would say, like watching him, he's he's entertaining on both sides of the both sides of the of the field when it comes to batting or when it comes to fielding. Uh, I mean, this year, 343 putouts. Um, he was able to have eight assists, five errors, two double plays, a 986 fielding percentage. Overall, five errors. That's that's a kind of a problem. I did I have seen him make some key errors, and I'm like, oh no. But overall, Adam Eaton is always usually consistent on the field. And um, just a nice guy overall, and just a great baseball player to be around with and to see. So for sure, belongs on this list. Number eight, Mookie Betts, age 23, Boston Red Sox center fielder. Pretty much a star in the making. Uh, he's going to be a superstar in this league. He's going to be, I'd say, right there with Mike Trout as the best center fielder as Andrew McCutcheon ages a bit, as he will obviously as he's 29 now. But overall, though, Mookie Betts, uh, age 23. I mean, he's got so many years in him left to just showcase the talent that he has and the talent that he has is amazing 
Um, it's it's definitely something that Boston needs and Boston needs youth. And I'm telling you, they have a lot of just talent coming through. And I really believe this is the year Mookie Betts. We get to see him in the postseason, and uh, he's going to show us some some killer some killer stuff there. Because Mookie Betts is one hell of a defensive player, but no one really credits his his offense. But his offense is actually pretty top notch. Overall, though, in his in his career, um, hasn't won any awards yet. Hopefully, I and I know he will. He'll probably be an MVP. I know he's going to be a Silver Slugger at some point. He will be a Gold Glover. He's going to be many things. He's going to win many awards. Because this is a guy that um, that you will see a lot, like headlining a lot of stuff. Um, so definitely we'll see the All-Stars and everything. Um, the thing that surprises me, he's unbelievable, but he has no contract signed yet officially as a Red Sox. He will be, obviously, as he will be in Boston, but, I mean, they need to work out how much they're going to pay him. I believe at one point he will be a guy that gets a big-time, big-time contract, a big-time commitment, um, and it's going to be... It's gonna be awesome to see how he does overall. Um, overall, though, uh, so far this year, offensively, uh, he played in 145 games. Uh, he went to the plate 597 times. He scored 92 runs, 174 hits, had 42 doubles, eight triples, 18 home runs, 77 RBIs, 46 walks, 82 strikeouts, 21 solo bases, a 291 average, a 341 on base. A 479 slugging and 820 OPS. That is exactly what I'm talking about. This is the diversity of him. He's like pretty much like Mike Trout, a Swiss Army knife, where he can do anything. He gets runs scored. He can hit. He's got extra base hits for days. He has power. As you can see, 18 home runs. That's a pretty good start to to a young young career that he has. He actually can get runs in. He like runs batted in. He can do that as well. Doesn't strike out as much. 82 times is really not as bad as like. Say the other guys that got 100 and plus strikeouts um, a year. Walks 46 times, so he's patient at the plate, and he can steal at 21, like 21 stolen bases. Like overall, just everything is is up to par. Everything is just really outstanding to me, and it it just makes for good baseball. He's gonna make the game a lot better. Him and Mike Trout, and I truly believe in the talent that that Mookie Betts brings. Like it's incredible to see. And, uh, and I'm ready to see it. Overall, though, um, defensively, though, this year, he had uh, 335 putouts, 10 assists, 4 errors, 2 double plays, a 989 field and percentage. Overall, he was he was pretty gifted. I know the 4 errors did ki- does kill him, but I'm not I'm not really looking much into that. I'm looking as, as a fielder, though. He had some great-ass catches this year, and I'm just waiting for him to just become a monster, become a star. So um, I'm ready for him to be a superstar, and I know he will be. And I think this coming up year, he will showcase that. So for sure, deserves this a spot in this countdown. Number seven, AJ Pollock, age 28, Arizona Diamondback center fielder, uh, one hell of a player, uh, another young talent that has developed really nicely and has become a major part in the Diamondbacks organization and in baseball. Um, repping Connecticut, which is my home state. Uh, definitely making them proud. Definitely making me proud. I love watching AJ Pollock, entertaining baseball player for sure. And just, I mean, I'm I'm just glad at, at the stage he's at right now. Um, again, they gave him a contract uh, in February 9th of this year, uh, two years, 10.25 million dollars. Not bad. I'm pretty sure you'll get a lot more in his career since it is like still he's still 28, so that's still a young career, young age for a baseball player. Again, AJ Pollock. So far in his career, he's been able to really make an impact with being an all-star and a Gold Glove Award winner. So, glove, Gold Glove Award winner. Sorry about that. But, you know, just able to just completely just be a, a dynamic um, baseball player. I know people love his defense. I personally love his offense, though, from what I saw this year. 157 games played, 609 at-bats, 111 runs scored, 192 hits. 39 doubles, 6 triples, 20 home runs, 76 RBIs, 53 walks, 89 strikeouts, 39 stolen bases, 315 average, a 367 on base, a 498 slugging, and an 865 OPS. Overall, uh, terrific numbers offensively, uh, really put it together this year. And, you know, I mean, he didn't really get any 
kind of hitting award, but I think he should have. I mean, looking at that average, I mean, he was definitely pretty damn close to, to making an impact. And, I mean, he made an impact throughout all of it, which is awesome. Um, his defense this year, 347 putouts, 5 assists, 3 errors, and 992 fielding percentage overall. Great defender, top-notch. You won't get much past him. If there's a fly ball or anything, you will count that. Pollock will get it. AJ has been great, and he definitely deserves to be in this countdown. So, congratulations to AJ. Number 6, Jonas Cespedes, age 30, New York Mets center fielder, a, what a character he is, um, and just what a great power hitter he is, like, he's fun to watch, just like how he hits the long ball, and he's just fun to watch overall, and just how he, he just expresses himself, and I'm so glad that he's landed in New York permanently for at least three years, because this guy's been a journeyman pretty much in MLB, and he's always been valuable to the team, they just trade him away, um, and that goes for, I mean, you're looking at the A's, you're looking at the Red Sox, and then you're looking at um, the uh, the Tigers. So, as of right now, uh, New York Met, uh, fantastic player overall, and had a great, great season this year. And at the age of 30, got a great contract as well. Looking at three years, $75 million. So overall, that was fine. Overall, great job on, on that signing for the New York Mets. They got him back. That's a key piece to their team so they can get back to the World Series. Um, so far, he's been an all-star, a Gold Glove Award winner, a two-time home run derby champion, and he's on the all-world baseball classic team of 2009. So overall, he's had a lot of different awards and a lot of different you know valuable um, awards and accolades that he's, that he's accumulated over the past four years that he's been in Major League Baseball. I'm um, looking at it, though. Uh, this year, he played 102 games for Detroit, got traded to the New York Mets, best trade ever I think New Mets ever did. But overall, this year, 159 games played, 633 at-bats, 101 runs scored, 184 hits, 42 doubles, 6 triples, 35 home runs, 105 RBIs, uh, 33 walks, 141 strikeouts, 7 stolen bases, a 291 average, a 328 on base, a 542 slug, and an 870 OPS. So overall, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, overall great numbers. Um, nothing less really from what I expect from him offensively he's a beast so it's awesome to see I mean he's always had that power so for sure great 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 um, uh, power hitter uh, on defense 247 put outs 10 assists 5 errors 1 double play and 981 feeling percentage he was definitely he's definitely not the strongest um, outfielder out there when it comes to defense um, but I do believe that he did a pretty damn good job of it um, trying to do it um, so I mean props to him on trying but uh, yeah not the best fielder of, of all time but definitely a great great hitter and a great and a fun player to watch for sure so definitely deserves to be on this list 